This is my presentation on my first academic paper. So the first paper that I researched was called Dynamic Adaptation of Software Defined Networks for an Internet of Things System, a Search-Based Approach. Um, and shown on the slide are the authors, the location of the publication, as well as the date. This research paper outlines the resolution of real-time congestion within an IoT network due to increase in demand. The proposed dynamic adaptive software defined network will not only solve congestion, but it will also minimize network length utilization, transmission delays, and adaptation costs. The motivation behind this research is to eliminate the risk of an emergency system failing when there's an emergency. The occurrence of an emergency in an IoT network causes congestion as there's an increase in traffic by many faults. The failed system can be caused by latency, information lost, and communication issues, which lead to the system not completing its purpose. When there's an increase in traffic in a network route, the system should adapt in order to maintain a level of quality of service. The approach was evaluated on an Industrial National Emergency Management System, AMS, um, and this system uses IoT to monitor geographical areas through a network of sensors, detecting potential disasters early to minimise damage. It also provides a means of communication between facilities for quick action. Systems such as EMS are prone to system failures when an emergency occurs um, and the network becomes congested, which makes them unreliable and prone to security vulnerabilities. The search-based approach that this paper has taken has been successful in their findings. However, their evaluation only uses a network emulator, Mininet. Um, for a more conclusive evaluation of their control algorithm, it's necessary to experiment on physical networks as the accuracy of data and topology during network damage can't be simulated. The algorithm should be tested on non-IoT enabled systems as it is essentially a general congestion control approach. This research builds on dynamic adaptive search-based software engineering, which has aimed to improve architecture of self-adaptive systems as well as reconfiguration. However, they have not acknowledged the congestion issue through a dynamic adaptive search-based software engineering. Other research have only ever attempted to optimize one criteria of the configuration of a software-defined network, such as a paper by S. Chiang et al. who expanded on dynamic traffic with consideration of bandwidth consumption, SDN multicast scalability, and rerouting overhead. The proposition of dynamic adaptive configuration techniques to resolve congestion in software-defined networks online while minimizing data transmission delays and reconfiguration costs was only attempted by this paper. Software-defined networks have been highly researched, such as the paper by Sugam Agrar et al, who looked into traffic engineering in an SDN with the attempt to increase flexibility. Huang et al. wrote a paper on dynamic routing that aimed to maximize throughput of a network um, under user demand constraints. Chiang et al. produced a new algorithm for optimizing routing paths for communication, and Agarwal et al. presented a method for network utilization. All these papers cover one thread of quality of services, and they don't consider trade-offs that were that they're making on the other thread. DICES, this paper's control algorithm, attempts to optimize all three quality of service threads simultaneously. DICES is a dynamic adaptive congestion control algorithm for a software defined network that aims to reduce congestion on an IoT system. Um, and the control loop of it is shown in the image on the slide. Um, it realizes that the aim is to maintain a level of high quality of service. The monitor step collects network information from the SDN. Um, the analyze step analyzes the network to decide if it is congested or not. Um, and then the compute reconfigures if a congestion is detected and apply will apply the new configuration to the SDN. The compute step uses a search algorithm that optimizes the quality of service criteria mentioned. In order for real-time efficiency, the approach is to find good enough solutions sufficiently quickly. DICES uses ONOS as their SDN control platform 
and Mininet as their simulator of virtual networks, which allows them to avoid expensive hardware um, and provides them the flexibility to test on different network types. With the motivation to work with the EMS, they realized that it uses an SDN for four sites, um, and they are the Remote Monitoring Site, Emergency Monitoring Center, Satellite Ground Station, and the Mobile Communication Facility Site. SDN separates software-defined data control and the physical aspect of network systems. DICES uses the application layer of the SDN to implement a weighted shortest path data forwarding technique between switches. The data forwarding is an event-driven process um, and uses weighted parameters that are assigned to network links. This weight determines the route for carrying data streams. DICES modifies the weight by implementing line 9 of the image shown on the slide, um, so the weight, is, the weight of the link is proportional to the link delay but inversely proportional to the remaining bandwidth of the link. This is done after detecting congestion so that the data isn't forwarded through overutilized links. When congestion occurs, DICES follows steps for congestion resolution. Therefore, DICES has been designed as a periodic process rather than event driven. The period is small enough to detect and handle congestion quickly but also large enough to not cause too much overhead and interference. The analyze step in the control loop considers a link congested if, it is utilized, if its utilization is above a configured threshold. Um, and the search-based congestion control algorithm resolves an identified congestion. And if this is not possible, then it, then it minimizes the maximum link utilization. As well as this, they minimize the number of link updates required to reconfigure the network flow and the overall data transmission delays. DICES effectively and efficiently resolves congestion. Experiments were made on realistic transmissions um, of the network with increasing data volumes, and most of the time, DICES could keep network utilization at 65%, with a threshold of 80%. Um, and it takes about 439 milliseconds to execute and resolve congestion. The execution time of DICES is linear to the network size and the number of requests. This is scalable to real-world systems, taking about 1.74 seconds to resolve congestion. DICES outperforms baseline algorithms such as reactive forwarding algorithm and the open shortest path first algorithm. The overall network delay of DICES is about five times better than the reactive forwarding algorithm and three times better than open shortest path first. The authors of this research paper have successfully proven that their research has improved IoT network congestion through minimizing data loss, communication delays and reconfiguration costs. Um, this has been achieved by implementing a new data forwarding technique um, as well as making congestion resolution a periodic process. DICES needs to be tested on more real-world systems as they rely on the underlying SDN providing accurate topology and traffic data. This needs to be tested under, under uncertainty um, and as well as to expand on the usefulness of DICES.